Hey, what is up everybody? This is John from Magic Tech Review. How are you guys doing today? And in today's video, I'm going to talk about the Motorola E5 Supra and E5 Plus from Cricut Wireless and Metro PCS. Uh, so I've noticed a significant or a really big problem uh, with this phone. I've had it now for quite some time. I believe I had it for at least two to three months now. Go ahead and leave a like on the video if you enjoy the content. Go ahead and subscribe to become part of the Magic Tech Review family. And comment down below what you think about this video or any other video. And I'm also going to tell you guys how to fix this problem. So no worries. Um, it's not going to be a complete solution. It's not going to be a complete fix. But at least it will alleviate the problem that is going on with me or with it. Let me know, guys, if you like this mic that I'm using right now. I am outside and I'm using my 4GE Cricut 4G LTE. So what's going on guys? Thank you guys for joining in. Okay, so what is happening with this Motorola E5 Supra? And I've heard it from other people now. Uh, what I've heard, I've heard, or what's going on is that the screen is actually flickering and then it goes completely white. So I've heard this now from several people and it's been going on and it looks like you know, it's a manufacturer defect. There's nothing you can really do as far as like, you know, completely fixing it yourself or making it go away. Uh, now, it doesn't happen every day. No, it doesn't happen every day. Uh, for me, it happens maybe about maybe about once a week uh, after I've been using the phone for a lot. I don't know what it is, but all of a sudden the screen, it'll just flicker, flicker, flicker. And all of a sudden it'll just go to white. Um, it'll start getting lines down the screen and then all of a sudden it'll just turn into a white screen out of nowhere so um, you know so it's Apple's fault yeah I mean for me is it you know what I'm saying and what I found what I found the easiest way or whatever Frank Miranda says mine did that in the beginning okay yours dad did that in the beginning yes so it, I mean, it happens. It happens. It, 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 you know what I'm saying? It, for some reason, it just it happens. I don't know what, what, what it is or why. It, okay, Frank Miranda says it will go away eventually. All right. Cool. Well, so you can either return it to Motorola. Motorola has a great uh, refund or return policy or exchange or whatever. Uh, and they have a year warranty on their phone. So I have contact, contact with Motorola. And they are definitely like, hey, send us your phone or whatever. And we'll send you one back no problem um, so they have no issue with that or if you don't want to be without your phone they have it to where you can actually um, you know you can give them like a somewhat of a deposit on your credit card and then they'll send you one so that's it that's that's great as well so it's great that Motorola has a good uh, customer service policy there and to tell you the truth it doesn't really bother me like I can I can actually deal with it whatever it goes white every so often and then all I do is just I literally click the power button and I click it on click it off click it on and it's right back to where it is uh, you could do a uh, you know you could do a, a soft reset you could just hold the power button down for 10 to 15 seconds and it goes away so guys no phone is really perfect in this day and age so, hey, Magical Mermaid, what's going on? So, yeah. Uh, Scott Thompson, yeah, man. It's a, so it's, 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 a pretty, it's a pretty big issue. It's not, it's not something that's just like, you know, just like a little glitch or something like that. It'll make your whole phone go white. Uh, but, I mean, that being said, you know, does it impede my, my, uh, my work? No. Because, nice day. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty nice day out here. I'm using this mic right here, so let me know, guys, if this mic is actually, I'm tapping it right now. Let me know if this mic is actually pretty good or whatnot. Uh, all, all phones will, yeah, all phones will have issues. You're correct. You're correct. So I guess that's the Motorola E5 Supra's issue. Uh, it took me months to figure this out, so it's not like it happened like day one, day two, or anything like that. So, but I just, just I did want to give this out and put like a little public service announcement out. For this issue. Hey, Sean Cypher, what's going on? Thank you for that $2 donation. Michael Platt, uh, I'll, I'll repeat the issue one more time again. The mic is great. Thank you, Scott, Scott Thompson. Yeah. So it allows me to actually be pretty far away. As you can see here, I still have a whole bunch of cordage. 
Uh, it's like, I think it's 15 feet of cordage, so uh, it allows me to be pretty far away, especially like if I want to like, um, if I want to record different things, I'm going to be using this, so I don't have to be like right up on the, on the phone, so you can actually hear me, but I see that I have 31 people in here, thank you for the 31 viewing, uh, go ahead and leave a like, I see only 8 likes, come on guys, you guys know you love me. That mic is awesome. Okay, I'll have a link in the description below uh, to the microphone. It's actually, I'll show you guys right here real quick. It's Pop Voice PV. I don't know, it's probably going to be backwards in the thing, but this is the, this is the microphone right here. PV510 Plus Lavalier Microphone. If you guys want to, you know, check it out or whatever, you can definitely do that. I'll have a link in the description. I'll have an Amazon affiliate link, so if you click on that link, it'll hook your hook your bro up with a little bit of money uh, from it. It comes with uh, comes with little instructions there. Comes with little extra extra foam patties and th another a different adapter and then it comes with your little your little bag. So didn't really mean to make this a review of the microphone, but hey, if it hey, you know what I'm saying, if you guys like the mic, you like the mic. I don't know. I never really, I never really use these things. I didn't think they would work good, but uh, ScreenGate, yep, yep, it's ScreenGate for Motorola E5 Supra. What can you, what can you say? Um, yeah, I could title, I could title this as ScreenGate. So yeah, so basically, guys, what is happening with the Motorola E5 Supra is the screen goes white after a while. Um, now it's not going to be every day. It'll probably be like once every three days, once every four days once a week sometimes it happens to me uh, apparently it goes away after time says Frank Miranda but yeah what it'll do is it'll start flickering a little bit and then you'll see the line it'll be it'll have like vertical lines going down it and then all of a sudden the screen will become unresponsive so what you do is you hit the power button off and on you just click like that you just you power it up power it on not like or put it in standby I should say How long have I been a YouTuber? Luke Tech Gaming. I've been a YouTuber for about three to four years now almost. I'm not even sure. Three and a half years? Almost four, I think, going on. Yeah, Michael Platt. I know. That's not good with the screen. I know, I know. Am I am I gonna return mine personally? Probably not. Uh but yeah. But yeah, so this one is a cricket branded phone. It's the first I got it the first batch. I don't know if it's the first batch. I don't know if they fixed it or whatever. And I don't know what that is, but that is loud. Whatever that is. So, sorry about all the noises. I got planes flying overhead. I got birds coming out of everywhere. So. Oh, yeah, school bus. Hello, school bus. How are you doing today? Thank you for... Uh... Okay, Michael Platt says, I just got my Super three days ago, but mine hasn't done it yet. Okay. Okay, so yeah, so obviously there's supers out there that have that have not done this. Maybe it was the first batch. Maybe they fixed it right away. Not exactly sure. But yeah, so I am using the Motorola E5 Super right now. Garbage? No, it's not a garbage truck. It's a school bus. But yeah, so here's uh here's the motor. This is the Motorola E5 Super. I'm using it right now. So, oh man. That camera. That camera. I gotta definitely wipe that thing down. That thing is greasy. Kind of surprised on this battery though, as I thought it would last longer, but at least it lasts all day. Yeah, I use my I use mine really, really rough. I use a, a lot of games on it. Emails, text. I use mine a lot, man. A lot, a lot. So Lock shaker sold about 50 E plus since launch. I haven't had anyone come in for a screen issue. Okay, block shaker. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Now I, I have heard a few. I've I've heard a few of the E5 pluses having this issue as well. Oh my golly! Wow. Says I haven't seen this issue either. Okay. So this must be very 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 minimal. It has to be, yeah, so this has to be very, very, very minimal. Because I literally got, like, the 
one of the first ones out the gate. So, you know what I'm saying? So it looks like they have fixed it. Now I, ha I have reps that are inside the inside the chat right now. Actually, John played hooky. So yeah, so it looks like uh, I have both reps here, one for Metro PCS and one for Cricket Wireless, and they're both saying that they they have sold plenty of them and not could be app related. Maybe it could be app related. It could be app related, huh? Could be app related. I'm not sure about that, but. So yeah, I, now I have heard at least a couple people. So I'm not saying that I know a lot of people with the E5 Supra, and you know, I, I but there has been one person in the live chat that said that it's doing it. So mine is doing it, and then we have some other persons doing it. And I can't wait till it gets a little bit cooler out here, so the bugs will just leave me alone. But anyways, other than that, guys, it's cricket attacking John. Yes. If it's app related, it probably means uninstall Facebook. True, true, true. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. maybe. It could be that. It could be that. Like I said, it's not really a big issue with me. Would you, would you, which one would you recommend overall for call quality and phone lasting longer? Moto E5 Play or Galaxy J7 seconds? Uh, I'd say Moto E5 Play. Probably. All right. I have the Moto E5 Plus and it hasn't happened to me yet. Okay, and, uh, Andrea. All right, cool. So just in time, distract me. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, just let me know, guys, if... So yeah, just let me know, guys, uh, if you have this issue, especially like if you are a uh, store representative and stuff like that. Bug gate, yes. Bug gate, yes. These flies, they will not go away. Um, and I'm trying to do I'm trying to do a series man, and there's one just like there's like a tick laying on me Tick just decided to like just chill on me like hey man. I want to I want to chill out. So yeah um, That's why I don't come out here much as these bugs man these bugs Florence left a bunch of but yeah, yeah, they did Florence did leave a bunch of bugs so anyways, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and get in because these bugs are getting even worse. But just wanted to come out here. I just wanted to come out here, let you guys know about this and make sure the notifications are working. So I'm sure a lot of you got the notification. Thank you guys for get the, for popping on in, saying hi. Thank you for leaving that like. After the video is done, after the video goes up, please comment if you have had this issue or not. If you have the Motorola E5 Supra or E5 Plus on Metro or Cricker Wireless, let us know. And let us know if this is an issue for you guys or not. For me, it definitely is. Uh, but like I said, it's really not that big of an issue. I don't think I'm going to return my E5 Supra. Uh, because it literally, you just click the power button on and off. And it, and it comes right back to where it's supposed to be. So, I don't know. Alright guys, this has been John from Magic Tech Review. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for liking and loving my content. And thank you, Plane, for interrupting my uh, live stream. Peace out, guys.